All right, welcome back. In our previous video, we placed our medical gas outlets in different types of rooms, and then we started piping the network. Now in this video, we're gonna provide our zone valve boxes and we're gonna finish the piping network. Oh, well, not really finish, but we're gonna develop a little bit more our piping network. We're also gonna be placing our alarm panels and we're gonna tag a little bit, both of them. See you in Revit. Hi everyone, this is Alex with Bim It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. Now let's drop our first zone valve box. Let's start with exam B, which has the three medical gases. So I'm gonna select a zone valve box with three gases, uh, from which Two of them are pressure and one of them is vacuum. I'm gonna rotate this 180 degrees and then we want to align the exterior face of the wall to that little flange. So it is good practice that if you're facing the zone valve box, let's say you're looking at it from the front, right, like this. So your entering pipes are on the left and then your exiting pipes are on the right. So the approach we wanna follow is whatever's gonna be calculated, the, the demand side of our system is gonna be always on the right, and then the source side of our system is gonna be on the left. So for example, let's say this pipe is the medical air, we would have the outlets this way, and then we would have the medical air compressor this way. If this is oxygen, then we would have our oxygen outlets, the medical booms and the head walls and all that on this side, and then the oxygen farm or the tanks or whatever, it's the source equipment on the left. And then if, if this is vacuum, we still have on the right, the medical outlets, you know, our demand, and then on the left, our source equipment. In this case, the source equipment is the medical vacuum pump. Now, the only thing that's going to change is the direction of the flow, because if these are if these two are pressure pipes, then the flow comes this way, goes through the valve box, and then that way. Same thing with this one. But if this is a vacuum system, then it's going to come this way, through the valve box, and then that way to my source, which would be the vacuum pump. So knowing that, let's shorten this a little bit. Then we know this is our vacuum right here. Now we want to keep the same order, right? So from the inside to the outside, we have air, oxygen, and vacuum. So let's do the same here. So that was air. Now we have oxygen. And then we have vacuum. And I just put some numbers here in the outlets just to be able to test the reading. This has absolutely nothing to do with real uh, liters per minute or standard CFM values, okay? So keep that in mind. This is just numbers that I have to test. So I have a 60 here. And then at the inlet, I have a 60 reading. Here, I have a 30. So here... I have a 30 reading and then for the vacuum I'm sucking 6 and then I have 6 here so this is working like a charm now let's go ahead and place the other zone valve box uh, this one's gonna be a little different it's gonna be just two 
medical gases. Uh, one's going to be pressure and the other one's going to be vacuum. So let's go ahead and drop that one in. And again, this is available at bimitup.com uh, or you can scan the QR code that you see on the screen right now. Um, let's see, let's rotate it and let's place it around here. And then we know that we want vacuum at the outlet. And, you know, it's, it's good practice, I would say, to have the, the lines in the ceiling facing the panel like this one not not like this one right here but you know it's uh it's just a test just an example um so again we want to keep the same order outside to inside so inside is oxygen so here we are oxygen and then outside is the medical vacuum let's see if it's reading correctly so this has six this is reading six this is reading 30 and this is reading 30 perfect so now let's go with the icu and the burn icu so you know, I had this nurse station here as a test, but it was going to be too much piping. So here, let's have two zone valve boxes, one for the ICUs. That one has three medical gases, oxygen, medical air, medical vacuum. So we already have that one, right? It's this one here. So let's go ahead and we could have done create similar, but I'm just going to show you here since these are going to have a little bit more it, in my example, it's not in reality, but in my example, these are going to be a little bit larger. So I'm going to drop this 111 here. And, and then those are going to be in this wall. And this is probably not correct. We would, we would have to ask our architect to fur out this wall because this is an exterior wall on level 2. But... You know, let's say we we're gonna ask for that exterior wall. So let's just have it like this, and then the wall's gonna be here. Okay. Let's actually finish connecting these two guys. So I can do TR from here to here, and then trim extend from here to here. And um, yeah, so there's gonna be one zone valve box for the two ICUs and another zone valve box for the burn ICUs. And this is just a test because we wanna start tagging and scheduling and all that, so we wanna keep it simple. Um, so here, remember, we always want our vacuum to be on the outside. So let's go ahead and write and route our vacuum like this. Line then we have our oxygen And our medical air.
and again if you're facing the zone valve box the demand is on the right hand side and the source is on the left hand side so now let's go in the same order medical air oxygen and vacuum let's see if it's reading correctly eight eight twenty twenty forty forty so that's pretty good now let's go ahead and do the other one I'm gonna create similar I place it about here and then I'm gonna change the sizes of the outlets a little bit later right now I have them all at one trim extent All right, very good. So now let's go to our valve box. So it's medical air. That's my oxygen. And now my vacuum. And now again in the same order from the inside. Medical air. Oxygen. And medical vacuum. Let's see if this is reading correctly. Medical vacuum has 20. Here I see 20. Oxygen has 60. Here I see 60. Medical air has 80. And I see 80 here. So that's pretty good. Now, since these lines are going to go over these other lines, maybe I should uh, take them up a little bit. So let's just bring them up a foot, each of them. So instead of 8, 6, let's say this is 9, 6. Now this one here, instead of 9, let's have it at 10. And then this one here is already pretty high, so let's just have it at 9.6, for example. And now we should be able to extend them without crossing, I mean, without connecting. Very good, so if we were to have this as hidden line, then those three pipes 
would be going over the other ones so that's pretty good and now let's say we have our oxygen main here somewhere and then it comes in here and then you have and then you have the medical air here and then you have the vacuum here so this one let's do trim extent to this one this one to this one this one and to this one this one and then whatever has to go the other way actually I think we could just trim here so tr here here and here and then later on we'll size all this for now it's just diagrammatic um now remember this we took it high so this is nine six so we have to change this one to nine six and then trim extent then this one here was a 10 so we have to change this one to 10 and then trim extent and then this one here was a 96 so this one here is also going to be a 96 then trim extent and now notice that we have our dedicated zone valve boxes this one for the exam B type of room this one for the exam A type of room then this one for the ICUs and this one for the burn ICUs in the next video we're going to try to tag those zone valve boxes uh, and also tag the alarm panels you know what let's just drop the alarm panels here just to have them there i'm gonna come here to alarm panel and then let's rotate it 90 degrees let's just place them like around here because the nurses here work a lot and they look at the pressures. Let's have this as wireframe. And for now, let's just assume that it's the same alarm panel because this one can handle from one to eight medical gases. So let's just have them all here. We have four different types, one, two, three, four, and we have the corresponding one, two, three, four medical alarm panels let's space them out a little bit more so this is gonna be it for now on the next video get ready to start tagging those sound valve boxes and the alarm panel and if we get a little ambitious we'll go into schedules